Oh my god, what are Rick and Ryan up to now? It's time for the Slightly Warped Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Show, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, This week, it's hot outside. The temperatures are killing me, man. Yeah, it's it's a little warm. Yeah. And and and, and I'm trying to get back into training mode because I've got the Plaza 10K on September 10th. Excellent. Now, the reason why I bring that up to you is because I want to set it up so that you can take f- part in the fun on that day. Not okay. running. Not running. <laughs> I'm Dog thinking on it. of taping live at the Fox and Hound that day since i'm in kansas city if you're down that, what, it's a sunday. what date is that it's a sunday. it's a sunday not a football sunday is it it's a football sunday but remember the chiefs open up on thursday so they will have already Ooh. played let me let me throw it past uh the boss and see what make sure that that's good and yeah we'll pause we'll, we'll i'll get back to you on that all right Now back to our regularly scheduled programming for all you people out there who love us already. Just want to let you know, you can catch us on your favorite podcast feed. If you don't have time to watch us on YouTube, as of right now, we're on, uh, let's see, we just added Spotify and we've been on Google podcasts, pod index, uh, tune in and Alexa. Podcast Addict, Listen Notes, Deezer, Pocket Cast, Pod Chaser, and Player FM. We are still waiting to hear back from the giant that is Apple and iHeartRadio. I don't know what's taking them so long, but uh, we're on everybody else. So, you know, if you don't have time to watch us, you can still listen, catch us there. And if you have any question, comment, or want to share anything with either myself or Big Show, Still, email us at the slightly warped podcast at yahoo.com. Yes, sir. All right, show <clears throat> this one. I mean, I figured people were done with this kind of mess after the woman sued McDonald's for her hot coffee being hot. A man is suing Buffalo Wild Wings over their boneless wings because technically. Boneless wings are really chicken nuggets. What? <laughs> Say that again. The man suing there's, Buffalo. There's a man who's suing Buffalo Wild Wings over their boneless wings. Because in his mind, they're really just chicken nuggets. Hmm. Huh. I mean, is Buffalo Wild Wings the only restaurant that serves boneless wings? No. Hmm. The judge wanted to throw the case out. <clears throat> he does not. Oh, want it to actually throw the made case. it to court. Well, it, it's still in litigation. Although the wow. judge wants to throw it out, he wanted them to keep it there because uh, he didn't want to reward the company's hubris. That goes back to your question. There's so many other places that sell boneless wings. Yeah, that guy should. Uh, hopefully, that guy's listening. And I have some advice. Just look at Big Show here. Put the crack pipe down. <laughs> well, Buffalo Wild Wings issued a statement. They say that they don't give a shit. <laughs> when people say it's boneless, their boneless wings aren't wings. Props to them for throwing out the S bomb. First of all, 
he should have sued him because but I've never seen a buffalo with wings. So that's their first problem. Yeah. So and, and there's yeah, that's just retarded. I, I hopefully it'll be dismissed. And there because if he's adjudicated and he gets any money, that's opening up one brass yes. for every other restaurant. Oh, that has not just restaurants. Boneless or whatever that has boneless. Any, wi- any boneless. kind of false advertising from any company will go under scrutiny immediately. True, but especially for the uh, boneless wings. You know how um, the NBA used to have a slogan, NBA action, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the NFL doing something and then I watch the Hall of Fame game? Because I will have to sue. Because there's nothing exciting about the Jets and the Browns. It would be if you're a Jet or a Brown fan. But it's a preseason game. Doesn't matter. If That's you're true. a fan of those teams, those matter. You want to see your, your draft picks and your rookies. I mean, I know it's been a long time since the Raiders have been, uh, you know, mattered to anything. So you don't watch those games. But, okay. you know. Okay, we, we went to the playoffs just the, two years ago. The, I mean, come on, give me che- a break. But they haven't really been relevant, you know, really. I mean, you know, well, no. relevant. I, I really. mean, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, it, it's been almost 20 the, years. The, chi- the Chiefs were in the playoffs basically every year in the 90s. They really weren't relevant. I got you. But if you're a fan of those teams, then, yeah, preseason's a big deal. And that's true. I mean, I, I'm I, I'm a fan of the Raiders, though. I need them to go three and whatever. Who's on their schedule? Do you know? Um, God, without pulling it up with me, I know they open up at Denver. Um, Pittsburgh is week three. No, no, I meant I meant for preseason. Oh, the preseason schedule. Haven't looked. Is that Denver game? Is that a Monday night game? Nope. Opening week. It's nope. Sunday. Again, you'll see me at Buffalo Wild Wings one way or the other watching that game. Interestado. Now, see, I said Buffalo Wild Wings. I meant Fox and Hound. See, <laughs> see already changing the spot. I know, right? See, now who, we're going to get sued who, who for also, false advertisement. Who also serve boneless wings, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, in, in case the dude's thing goes to court, I'm going to sue uh, Fox and Hound. There you go. All right, um, moving right Enough along. Enough of this nonsense. Yeah. Um, now, I tell you what. I I heard about it some more, uh, I want to say a couple of days ago. Can we just finally say that Colin Kaepernick is no longer going to play football? All Who's teams saying unanimous, that he is? All teams unanimous. Well, he was talking again about uh, coming back. And he's not played in what seven or eight years at this point. Uh, yeah, I would say easily real close to that, six to seven, somewhere in that arena. Well, what happened was, um, not only did he say that, but right afterwards, um, every team via the press spoke out and said they have no interest in him. Every team. So the door's closed, Colin. Yeah, I mean, I think with him, um, I do think he got shafted by the NFL uh, for his stance against uh, police brutality. Um, However, I think if he was going to be a legitimate, try to make a legitimate comeback, we would see him in the XFL or the USFL first. I agree. But I don't, I don't even think he needs to give that a shot. Here's my thing. And I'm going to be plainly clear on this. Cause I like the guy. It's not, it's not like he's one of those people that his personality sucks or whatever. Um, I appreciate what he stood for. And for those people who still believe that he was, on a knee and disrespecting the national anthem in America. That's not what that was for. 
the problem with Kaepernick is he just couldn't play. He was a good Stop running quarterback. No, Stop when, it. When defenses Stop figured it. him when defenses figured him out, he was no Stop good. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. He was a good quarterback. He took he he put he made the, the 49ers trade Alex Smith. He took the 49ers to a Super Bowl. And if it wasn't for the lights going out in that dome, they probably would have beat the Ravens. You know what? I'm not even going to argue that last part. However, it he was only a year or two removed from that Super Bowl when all this other nonsense broke out. So you Here, can't say thing. that he wasn't any good. Okay, I won't say he was he wasn't garbage. I'm not I'm not saying that like he that. Was, he, he was he was better than Carr. He was better than half the starters in the NBL. He he in, was in better than He's better than all the starters in the NBA. <laughs> the, the Garoppolo. NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't get me started on Jimmy. I'm just saying, I'm just saying he don't don't disrespect him like that. No, nah, I don't mean to disrespect him, but you know, it, it all went downhill. But let me ask you this before I close the but book on college. It went it went downhill because of the political BS, not his NFL prowess play baking ability or athleticism let me ask you this though 49ers win that super bowl and all this stuff still goes down do you think it's any different do i think that that nfl wouldn't have ostracized him or whatever yeah no i still think everything would have happened the same the only okay. way the only way that it wouldn't have happened to be the same way is if that was tom brady taking a knee If Tom Brady was taking any, he would not have been kicked out of the NFL. But because a black man with an afro decided to take a stance against police brutality against non-white folks, that political, the, the NFL didn't like that. And they took it as disrespect for the flag and the, you know, the national anthem and all that nonsense. I totally, that's where I totally disagree with it. You know, uh, taking a knee is a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's what you do. And he actually asked a military person, what would be the most respectful way to do that? And they said, take a knee. He was actually instructed by a military personnel to take a knee. Well, I've heard military he personnel say, for it. I've heard military personnel say, we fought for this country so you could do whatever you want to do. Exactly. Exactly. And then people will say, and I do this all the time. I always stand up for the national anthem. Really? When you're at home sitting on your couch and the and national, do you get up and, and no, you don't. You sit there and chew your popcorn, smoke your cigarettes, drink your beer, keep doing the same shit. So don't, you know, miss me with that BS. Hey, I want to fly back to uh, <clears throat> the goat since you brought him up, Tom Brady. And I'm, oh, I thought I'm you using, about my homes. I, I'm I'm using it tongue in cheek, but you know why. But You're so bad. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. <laughs> I want to give him his props though for this, I, and 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 I knew it, but I didn't know it until I saw it in print. All right, he's got a bunch of Super Bowl rings. I'm gonna read the years off to you. 2002, Raiders were robbed, by the way. Uh, 2004, 2005. I agree with you. 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2021. Mm -hmm. Do you know what stood out there? Ten year absence between the two super between three and four. Yes, but he went. Yeah, he did go. If he I'm lost correct. to the Giants twice. Yeah, that's what I was getting to say. But dude is ringless for ten straight years. And still knocked off four more when he came back. And in those 10 years, let's look at what happened. He he blew his knee out. The Chiefs knocked him out for the entire year that year when they, uh, I forget who the safety was that hit him. That was week uh, one too, wasn't it? It was. Because that's when Matt Castle came in. And I believe they, I, I, I want to say they missed the playoffs that year. But they they was real close to getting it, but you know the Chiefs were so excited they went out and got Matt Castle, and that took them nowhere. 
uh you know and then they basically rebuilt the whole team yeah because i think in oh when, name he oh what was it name name him again so oh one uh oh two oh two oh four oh five and that's the 2000 it was the 2001 season though yeah Okay. Remember the the Super Bowl is always in February, so it's right. But that, but it's not it's not necessarily the two thousand and two Super Bowl. But I get you. Okay, yeah. so o two, say it again. O two win. O two, o four, o five. That's your first set. Then he's back in fifteen. So in o seven, they went undefeated, and then got and the, until the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. The Giants took care of business, and then they had the Deflate Gate, and then they had the. The still in the Jets signals. Yeah. And all that other nonsense. Then they rebuilt the team, drafted uh alleged killer Hernandez. Yeah. Drafted drafted Gronk. Edelman. Man, they were just that 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 whole franchise did it right for about 20 years. Yeah, they did. I mean, I'll give him his props. Don't care I tell you him, what, for I'll those people props. that just like sports documentaries, just all together, and no matter the sport, like uh, just a couple quick plugs. Netflix, the one it's about an hour and a half long. It's called the Redeem Team. It's about the 2008 Olympic uh, men's basketball team. I watched it over the weekend. Great show. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Uh, Kobe. It talks about Kobe, and yeah, he he was a different cat. But on ESPN Plus, there's like a 10 or 12 season or 12 episode, and it's called Man, Man in, the, in arena. the Arena. Yeah. And it's all about Tom Brady. And it's in all those years, it, it, it's, it's a really neat watch on how he progressed from where he was to where he is now. I recommend, you know, if you can stomach just the patriots but you know just watch it from a particular sports football fan standpoint it's a good it's a good uh good waste of your 10 hours uh if i'm gonna be watching netflix and wasting 10 hours on the sports documentary i'll go back to the last dance but that's for different reasons. Yeah, you, you can watch that on espn plus as well that's true so hey keeping with football um, I got one. So more since story. you brought up Last Dance, I know we'll we'll go mm -hmm. back to it. But since you brought up Last Dance, who's better, Kobe or Jordan? Well, you know it's Jordan. I mean, think about it like mm -hmm. this: Kobe modeled his game from Mike. So that doesn't so mean he's if better. You, if you got to take somebody else's game, I mean, you you already know that they're good. So so Tom Brady modeled his game after Joe Montana. Who's a better quarterback? Joe Montana. You lie like a rug. You just don't want to say <laughs> Tom Brady. All right. Now, I, today, I since will, I'm giving his props, since I'm giving him his props. I will also agree Jordan is slightly better. But, man, that is that is a debate worth listening to versus Jordan and James. Oh, that's not even close. Kobe was and Kobe was a different like I didn't realize Kobe Kobe was built different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Mamba mentality. Have you uh, seen that Redeem Team one? I have not. I didn't even you know about to, it until you brought it up. So I am going to You have to watch it. It is it is definitely worth it. And we'll discuss it afterwards. All righty. Now, um, Fans were calling for Pat McAfee to be fired for an appalling tweet. Do you know who Pat McAfee is, by the way? I do. He's the ex uh, kicker for the Colts. He has his own podcast, all that good stuff. And he's I think he wrestles every now and then. ESPN as well. Yeah. Now, what was um, his tweet? I didn't see it. All right, let me roll it back first. Um, uh, they say it's offensive because the Michigan State doctor Larry Nasser. Was recently convicted of sexually abusing several student athletes. So that's what we mean when we say Nasser. And uh, he's the, State, he was he was the one that uh, he was the one uh, that did the U.S. Um, Olympic um, gymnastics team for the women. That's the guy. 
I don't know what he did. Um, yeah, he bring... that's that's who, when he says that he's been. I'm a, I'm pretty sure because I that guy was a Michigan State doctor. Well, um, they had a picture, or Pat was watching a preseason game for Michigan State, and they're wearing their basic green jerseys, but they've got the um, day glow green that says state all the way across it. And their pants are the uh, neon green as well. His comment was, I still can't believe Michigan state thought it was okay to roll out in these uniforms. And McAfee says, I think Nasser Nasser was on the design team. Actually. That, that's what he said. He okay. mentioned Nassar was on the design team of the uniforms. Spell that guy's last name. Uh, N a s s a r. I don't find that joke appalling. I think what he's trying to say is those uniforms were offensive, and yeah. Nassar was offensive. He must yeah, have designed so, them. Yeah, so just. I wanted to make sure I was talking about the same guy. Yeah, he is the doctor that molested all those gym gym gymnasts for the U.S. Olympic team. Sick. You know, all the way back to Kerry Strug and all that. Yeah, and Simone Biles came out about it and all that. So yeah, same same guy. Well, basically, he needs to get put under the jail. Yeah, he served 18 years. Uh, he worked for the Olympic team for 18 years. And think about all those gold star Olympics, the gymnasts that came through in the past 18 years. Mm. So now going back to the comment, he said that NASAR that picked out the, the I, I don't he understand. Must have, he must have designed those god awful jerseys. Because they were repulsive? Yeah, what? I guess that that's what I'm picking up from it. What were some of the comments on tweet on that, Twitter? Um, let me pull it up here. Uh, basically, on one hand, the joke is truly appalling, offensive, and inconsiderate of the victims. Uh, another person said, just insane that this tweet hasn't been deleted yet. He sexually assaulted 265 people, including children. Cool joke, man. Absolute ass clown showing the world once again how much of a giant fuck he is. Hmm. I'm. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I just I seen the picture. I just seen the picture. So now I get a better, but I still don't understand this, why that's repulsive. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I don't is, get, I don't get very what he bad was what to happened say. to all those kids. But he wasn't trying to offend them. I don't get that out of it. I don't get the fact that uh, he was trying to uh, be offensive to anyone other than Nasser, because the jerseys looked horrible. So it must have been designed by a horrible person. That's what I pick up from it. Yeah, I, I don't even see where he was trying to get with his comment. Like I don't. What? That was that was a that was a bad. <laughs> A bad dozens play there, I think. That yeah. That yeah, he needs to go back to school for playing the dozens, that's for sure. Uh yeah. Uh let's hope somebody else starts writing his material. All right. We've been doing this for a few weeks now. We need to circle back to the AFC, I guess. We're on the South. So today we're doing the AFC South. And as you know, that's our good friends, the Colts, the Jags, the Texans, and uh, who did I leave out there? Titans. The Titans. Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to say Oilers, but I'll get to that in a minute. I miss, this them. Division I miss those sucks. uniforms. By the way, I'll go ahead and start it now. They will be wearing them for at least I know two once this year. Is it, oh, is two, it two? Twice. Well, I know at least one time. Yeah. That that doesn't make it right, though. They need to wear them all the time. Right. But I, to me, I know that they were the team that moved from Houston to Tennessee, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't be allowed to wear the Houston Oilers. That, that should be the Houston Texans. They should go ahead and just pick that up. I know they won't, but they should. Yeah. I mean, 
I, I totally get that because nobody in that division, if you're a Colts fan, you don't want them wearing uh, Baltimore jerseys. Exactly. I guess that doesn't make sense because they were still the Colts then. So Baltimore Colts, yeah. Yeah. And both teams have changed their name, you know, from Oilers to Titans. So I you know, and then Oilers to Texans. I would not that they were part of that franchise, but still. So to me, the Houston insignia should still be with the Houston franchise. I, I agree. But that's my old man soapbox moment. Yeah, this division sucks buttholes with a straw. Um, you've got a rookie coach that never coached anything in his life before who's still there. Who's that, the Houston's guy? Nah, the, the Indianapolis Colts coach. Um, God, what was his name? Jeff Saturday. He's still the coach. No, he's not. No, he's not. They they replaced him? I'm pretty sure that one of the Eagles coordinators is, is that coach. Huh. That's news to me, but then again, this division I don't really follow. Because I'm pretty sure that both the offensive and defensive coordinators for the Eagles got a gig, and I'm pretty sure I'm about to, to find out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Shane Steichen was hired as the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, I knew Saturday was didn't wasn't there. Okay, he still got a rookie coach though. So, rookie head coach. Rookie head coach. Yes, sir. Um, not not coach because Saturday never coached. You know anything? Yeah. Now I'm going to say this. This is the Jaguars' division to lose, simply Ooh, because they built up momentum. They actually know they can win now. They need to do it. I know that's easier said than done. So are you counting the Titans out? Yeah. I think the Titans are on the decline. I really do. Really? I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't hop on that train with you. Now they're not going to suck a, balls, but they had a, they had a down year. Um, I, I think the two teams, you know, one A, one B is Jacksonville, Tennessee. Who's going to, let me ask division. you this. Do you think Ryan Tannehill starts and completes the season? Who did they draft a rookie quarterback? Don't know. I'm not sure. I want to say they did, but again, don't follow the division. I, I'm pretty sure the Texans took CJ Stroud. And I think the Panthers took the other guy. Yeah. I mean, I would assume so. Well, no, Tennessee took a guy last year. Uh Malik Willis, I think his name. I don't know. Um that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I'm going to say, yeah. I mean, if he stays healthy and plays the entire year, I think that uh, they're going to give Jacksonville a run for the money. I, I Coaching-wise, when I look at Jacksonville's coach versus Tennessee's coach, I give the edge to Tennessee's coach. Vrabel is from that Bill Belichick tree. I know – We've and mentioned that before. He is from the, the Belichick tree, but that dude coaches like Marty Schottenheimer. No, he, he does will not. be like gangbusters in the regular season, give you so much hope. But come the end of the regular season, all hope is over. I disagree. I disagree. But with the he, he has the same results as Marty Schottenheimer, but I don't think he coaches the same. Okay, that's what I mean. Not three yards in a cloud of dust offensively. I mean, the results are the same. Yeah, but he has that. I mean, because he, when he played, well, let's see, when the Chiefs won their, when in Super Bowl 54, that, that one, or f yeah, in 2019, mm -hmm. the Titans played the Patriots the first playoff game. And Vrabel out Belichick, Belichick, just by playing within the inner lining of the rules that Belichick did. Yeah. Excuse me. Vrabel did that to him. So mm -hmm. that's kind of why I like, I kind of like him a little bit better. I don't like uh, Jacksonville's coach as much as I like Vrabel. 
even though I, he I, is. I'm a, not sold on him either. I mean, he needs even though he did win a Super Bowl with the Eagles. Um. Yeah, but, but he he needs a few more seasons with Jacksonville. I mean, he caught lightning in a bottle in Philadelphia. Well, I mean, but his first year, Jacksonville, you know, went to the and, divisional round, and they need to be consistent too. Yeah. They have the better quarterback in the in the in the division, I think. I would agree with that. I think the Texans are gonna surprise some people. Mm. I think the Colts are going to most likely what retread quarterback did they pick up this year? Is it did John Elway come out of retirement? I, I, think, them? I think they're running with their rookie. I don't know his are name, they? but I think they are running with their rookie. But I mean, I think if I had to pick, it's probably gonna be it's probably going to be the same as they finished last year. Jacksonville, Tennessee, Colts, Texans in that order. I agree 100%. I would not wow. be surprised if Tennessee Yeah, you flip-flop one and two, it wouldn't that. it wouldn't floor me. The only thing that would floor me is if the Houston Texans won that division. Then I'd say Or the even if they win. finished second. If they you finished. know that would surprise <laughs> That would yeah. surprise me. <laughs> that is true. Although I I am rooting for his their head coach. All right, guys. I want to hear from y'all football fans, damn it. Where do you see the AFC South finishing? What what order? Just the South. Talk to us next week as we get to the NFC East. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good division right there. Joe, take us out of here with a joke. Speaking of the East, did you? They sold the Washington Commanders sold, right? Yes, they you, did. You read that, right? And they are you hear they're talking to get about, the name back. Well, I heard they're they're talking about get changing the name again, yeah. not back to Redskins, but you you think uh, they're just gonna go with something completely different? I don't know. I, I I think they're trying to get away from that Commanders thing. Yeah, that that name sucks. I mean, if Redskins is offensive to Native Americans, Commander is offensive to anybody that holds a high rank in the... Star I think Army. they should just put... I mean, they should put the... You know, they could put the emblem back on there and just change it to Warriors or something like that, you know? Not bad. You know, something generic that's not a derogatory term, but... I mean, that's my two cents. All right, well, I just, you know, we're going just to go with the bad dad joke of the week. Better hurry. We only got 30 seconds. Why can't you explain puns to kleptomaniacs? Oh, I don't know. I've never heard this one. Because they always take things literally. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Share with your friends. We'll see you next week. Love each other. Tomorrow's not promised. Take care, guys.